Hello. Chapter 9 in the Slight Edge is all about mastering yourself and how by thinking the right way and taking actions to reach your goal you will become successful. Always remember this. Your philosophy creates your attitude, actions and results which in turn create your life. Mastering yourself means continuous learning, always wanting to know more than you know. Use the wealth of talent that is out there and read and read and read some more. Learning is the material from which you build your awareness and that is also critical in mastering the slight edge. Did you know that one person out of every six, approximately one billion people, can't read? And this rate is on the rise. But also consider this. If you are one of that 50% who never read after high school, what's the difference between you and the billion people around the world who couldn't read even if they wanted to? No difference at all. Of course, you have to read the right type of book. The average novel, although enjoyable, will not lead you to your successful future. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of self-help and self-awareness books out there for you to read. Some good, some bad, and some that will change your life. Unfortunately, it's different for everybody. There is not one single book that encompasses everything. So what you need to do is, like me, read one chapter of an information-rich, inspiring book every day, listen to 15 minutes of a life-transforming audio cassette or CD, take a course or seminar every couple of weeks or months and remember this also knowledge without practice is useless practice without knowledge is dangerous you can also learn through modeling in other words find a person who is a master already and apprentice yourself to them do what they do or did but be yourself in the process and i'll see you on my next installment of the slight edge